Hey guys, welcome back to another Management 4 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to drink something in order to regen your health. So in this, it's going to be sort of like Fortnite, something along those lines, or a lot of other games use it as well, but that's one of the biggest examples. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to have an animation for drinking something, and when you drink that, your health will go up. So I'll show you what the animation can look like now. Oh, sorry, I've just played the animation as well, so there you go. Uh, but this is what it's going to look like on a different character. So you can see we have the animation going up like that the drink in his hand and he's going to be drinking it and as you heard we have sound effects as well so on the mannequin it doesn't look as good so you can see the animation looks slightly different like that but you can still see the animation goes up with the can and the sound effects and the only reason the animation doesn't look as good on the mannequin is just because of the different skeletons I had to retarget it so this is the original download and this is my retargeted version so when you download it you'll get one looking like this so I'll leave a link in the description down below to all the downloads as well for the sound effect the model the animations all of that so, and again when you download it the animation will look like this but obviously you may need to retarget it to your different character but I won't be leaving a link to the mannequin one it'll be this one which looks a lot better so I hope that clears up any questions about the animation looking a little odd on the mannequin but basically if we press a button we're going to play the animation have a drink have sound effects and as you can see in the bottom right as well our health is going up by a desired amount that you set as well after drinking so we're going to be creating this today so let me delete the code that i've created and i'll show you how i've made this so what our first step is going to be is that you want to import everything we're going to be using so again today i'm going to be using an animation a model for a can and two sound effects so you can see i have the sound effects here so we have can opening drinking we have this animation here which again looks a lot better in the original animation which is this one here like so that looks great and then we also have the can model as well now this is textured when you download it but I've just made it white as it had some designs on there which I didn't really want but it's fine it's free to download all of that good stuff again links in the description down below so let's get on with making this so what we're going to do once you've imported all of that is going to right click on the drinking animation that we have here so right click on it we're going to go up to create and create and in montage like so now if you open that up we have an animation montage here there's a rate scale you can change the speed so if you want to drink faster you want to drink slower you can just change it there i'm going to leave it as one by default as that's good for me and then we're also going to create a blueprint for our energy drink so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click and go to blueprint class i'm going to create an actor i'm just going to call this energy drink bp and i'll open that up straight away like that in here i'm going to add a component add static mesh i'm going to make this one the energy drink model that we have so energy drink like so compile and save that and now we're going to want to move this around in here later on but we'll do that in a bit once we have a reference for where we want it to go so we can minimize that and then we want to open up our character blueprint and that's where we're going to be doing all the code so for me that's content third person bp blueprints third person character but again for you this could be third first or whatever you've named it you can see in here i already have a health variable if you don't have that this is just a simple integer called health but i assume you probably do have that already again if you don't just hit the plus variable name it health and change it to be an integer up here once we're in here we're going to go down and find some empty space and then what we want to do is we want to create an action mapping so that we can drink this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to edit go to project settings and then go all the way down to input i hit this plus action mapping here now if you don't have some of these other action mappings that's fine these are just from previous tutorials which i've done but once you've hit this plus action mapping here what i'm going to do is i'm going to name this one drink energy or health up or, or just drink anything along those lines and i'm going to change it from none to be one so when i press one on the keyboard it's going to do this now you can set this to be whatever you like and the good thing about action mappings is you can set this to be multiple keys you can set it to be keys for different consoles and we can also set up key binding so you can set this to whatever you want i'm just going to close this and now back in the event graph if we right click and then search for what we just named it so i just made my drink you can see we have this action event drink there so when we press the button we just set up it's going to fire off this event here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come out of pressed as i want this to happen when i press it so straight out of this i'm going to hold down o and left click to get a do once plugging that into pressed there and the reason we're doing this is to prevent the player from spamming it so if they spam the keypad that you set it would just keep on playing the animation and playing the drink and they get a lot of health so to prevent that we're going to use a do once here out of this we want to disable the character movement as well so that the player can't move around while they're doing this if you want them to be able to move around 
then you don't need to do this step, but I'm just going to prevent them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop in the character movement here, drag out of that, and we're going to disable movement like so, plugging that into the completed of the do once there. After this, what we want to do is we want to spawn in the energy drink can so that the player is then holding it. So we're going to come out of this, and we're going to spawn actor from class like so. The class of this is going to be our energy drink BP that we have created. And then the spawn transform, we want to be the location of the player's hand. So a good way to find their name, as it will be different for different skeletons, is select something which is parented to the mesh, or just, if you don't have anything, add a random component, so I'll just get a static mesh, and parent it to the mesh, so drag and drop it on the mesh, like so. Then in the parent socket here, search in there, and just search for hand. You see the left hand is all lowercase, hand underscore L, that is the left hand, so that's what I want to do it as. So I can then just delete that static mesh, as it was only to find that out. Once you've done that, we're going to drag and drop a reference to our mesh in here like so. Drag out of this, we're going to get socket transform like that, with the in socket name as the left hand we just found. So for me, that was hand underscore L like that. Now that's going to get the socket location, rotation and scale for the left hand socket. We'll leave transform space as RTS world. Return value of this is just going to go straight into the spawn transform of the spawn energy drink there. So it's going to spawn the energy drink in the player's hand, which will work perfectly. And what we want to do as well is collision handling override. We just want to change that to always spawn ignore collisions. That way we know the energy drink is always going to be spawned whether or not it wants to or not because it might be glitched in the player's hand, depending on the size of it, but this will still work perfectly for us. So that's great. So what I'm going to do then is out of the return value of this, I'm going to simply just attach actor to component. So we've spawned the energy drink in in the player's hand, and it's just going to stay there. So what we want to do is we want to attach it to the hand so it also moves with the player's hand when they're drinking. So that's very simple. You see the return value has gone into the target there. That's perfect. The parent, we just want to go into this mesh reference we got earlier. So it's going to parent it to the mesh. The socket name, again, is going to be the left hand. So hand underscore L. Now again, you might want to check what it is for your skeleton as it might be different. So if it's from Mixmo, it's most commonly left hand, all one word, capital L, capital H. But again, find it for what it is for you. And the location, rotation, and scale rules, we want to keep world. So it's going to keep where it's spawned in. So what it's going to do is it's going to spawn the energy drink in the player's hand and it'll attach it to the player's hand as well so it moves with it. And that's perfect. So now we have the energy drink spawned in. After this, we want to play the montage for drinking. So we're going to come out of the execution there and we're going to play anim montage like so. Target, you can leave a self. The anim montage is going to be our drinking anim montage we created earlier. You can leave everything else the same unless obviously you want to change the play rate, so how fast it is, but again we did that in the montage if you wanted, and that's perfect. So then what we're going to do is out of the return value here, we're going to get a delay, like so, with the duration being the return value. So basically after the animation is finished playing, we're going to fire something off. What we're going to fire off is we're going to increase the health. So we're going to drag and drop a reference to our health variable there, get health, and then we'll drag and drop another one onto the completed to set the health, and then out of the first health, we're going to get an integer plus an integer, plug in the return value of that into the set health there. The bottom value of this is basically how much you want to increase the player's health by. So I want to increase this by 20. You can set this to be whatever you like. And after this, two more simple steps. We're going to come out of the return value of the spawn actor again and just destroy actor. So we finished drinking the energy drink. Now we just want to get rid of it, despawn it. So we'll destroy it like so. And then out of this, we're going to get another reference to the character movement. So drag and drop character movement and out of that we're going to set movement mode and we're going to set this back to walking so plug that in there new movement mode is walking and this is just going to re-enable the movement so we disabled it earlier now we're re-enabling it out of this we're just going to go all the way back to the start of the code into the reset of the do once so this do once like i say is preventing it from spamming and once we finish the code we're going to reset it so the player can once again drink something i'm just going to double click these lines here to get some rewritten notes to keep it nice and organized now we're going to compile and save that. And there's a few more little tweaks we need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to find my way to the animation blueprint. And this is to enable us to use animation montages so we can actually see the player drinking. So for me, that'll be content, mannequin, animations, third person, and a BP. But this could be anywhere 
for you and whatever you've named it. Out of the state machine here, so go all the way back to the anagraph, out of the state machine, I'm going to get a slot, default slot, plugging that into the output pose there. And like I say, all this does is it just enables us to use animation montages. So we can compile, save, and close that straight away. Now we're going to test this out, but you will see one thing which we want to tweak. So I hit play, I hit one, whatever you've named it. You see we have this montage here, but we had no sound effects, and that you saw the can wasn't perfectly in the player's hand. So we have something which looks a little bit like that. So it's just kind of off the hand like so. So all we want to do to fix that is we just want to open up the energy drink blueprint here, and we just want to move it around in here until we get the perfect values. Now the values I found earlier for me were 10 on the X, minus 10 on the Y, and minus 10 on the Z. So just offset it a little bit like that, but you might want to just move this about to get it perfect. So the way I found these values was I just kept on pressing play, testing this out, and seeing where the energy drink was in the player's hand after moving the values. So like I say, that works perfectly for me, and this is how I got it looking on this one over here. And again, they're different values. So the value I used for this skeleton here was slightly different. So let me see if I can find what they were. Here, showcase, energy drink showcase BP. So the values for this were 10 on the X, five on the Y, minus 10 on the Z. So again, just different values for you. If you're using a mix mode character, this might be the values you want, but just customize it to get it perfect for you. So I'm gonna close that. And now what we want to do is we want to add the sound effects and that should be the final step. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to the start of the code. I'm just gonna move this do once back just a little bit like so. Out of the completed of this, I'm gonna hold down S, left click to get a sequence, plugging that into the completed there and then zero will just go into the code we've just made. And what a sequence does is it just allows us to fire off multiple lines of code. Out of then one, I'm gonna come all the way down here underneath the code, and I'm going to play sound 2D. And I'm doing 2D and not at location, just because we're not gonna be moving, we don't need to be location, it can just be everywhere so the player hears it. So that will work perfectly. Again, I might just reroute this just to make it look a little bit more organized. This first play sound, I want to be the can opening. So what I'm gonna do is select asset, and get can opening sound effect like that. That will play that. And now we're doing it on a separate line because I want to get a delay. So if we did it up here, the delay would affect this code, but since I'm doing it down here, it won't affect it at all. It will only affect the sound effects. So what I'm gonna do is hold down D and left click to get a delay. I'm gonna set the duration of this to be one second. As one second after playing the can opening sound effect, and that's from the very start of it as well, not from the end, that's from the start, I want to then start drinking it. So out of the completed, I'm going to again play sound 2D. This sound effect is going to be drinking. So drinking sound effect like that. And with this specific one, I'm going to open this up and set the volume multiplier to 5. Now the only reason I'm doing that is because this sound effect I downloaded is a little bit quiet. Setting it the volume multiplier to 5 just makes it that little bit louder and makes it much better. You don't need to do that for you. Customize it for how you like. I'm just going to close that again. Then I'm going to hold down D, left click to get another delay as I want to play this drinking sound effect twice, as I want it to have, let's say, two gulps or anything like that. But you can have different sound effects, you can have a longer one, customize this to get it perfect sounding for you. This delay, I'm gonna have as one again, as when I was testing this out and making it earlier, I found that to be the best time. Then I'm just gonna duplicate this play sound 2D here, instead of getting a new one, so that I then have the same sound effect in there, and it's kept the settings for the volume of player earlier as well. Plug then to the completed, and now we should be done with this code. This should be working perfectly. So I compile and save that. Let's test this out. So I hit minimize, hit play, and if I press one, we got the sound effect. We had the animation, it all worked perfectly. So let me do that again. One, we have the animation going up, the can drinking, and we have two different sound effects. And you can see as well in the bottom right, we had the health going up. Now what you can see is the camera's sort of doing this little glitch sometimes, where it's just zooming in and out but it always doesn't do that. That's just because of this animation. Or again, on this skeleton, it isn't perfect. It's kind of clipping with the camera, so the camera's moving. But that shouldn't be anything to worry about for you, again, because I can't imagine you're gonna be using the mannequin in your actual game. So the animation should look a lot better. And you can also spend more time maybe finding a different and better animation for you. As again, I just found this one quickly on Mixmo. Again, this works perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video, is we've done everything we want to do. We set up a drinking system in which we can drink something to regen our health. We press any button we set. We have an animation for drinking. We have a can as well, which spawns in and despawns at the right time. We have sound effects, and as you can see in the bottom right as well, our health is increasing by a set amount which we desire. 
So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.